Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be testing out Bite Beauty's brand new foundation. If you're not aware, Bite Beauty finally expanded into the realm of complexion products and uh, I definitely got intrigued by Samantha Ravendahl's recent review that she did, kind of demoing the whole line. She has been teasing how much she's been loving a foundation that's gonna be launching in 2020 and now we finally learned it's this Bite Beauty foundation, so I really, really wanted to test it out and see how it worked on my oily skin because my understanding is her skin is a little bit more on the dry side. So I went to my local Sephora, I had them make me a sample, and we are now on day two of wear testing this product. So you will see both my initial first impression reaction and today we're testing it out for the second time. Hopefully things will go a little bit better. So yeah, if you'd like to learn more about this foundation, see it apply, hear my initial thoughts and see how it worked on my skin, we're about to get into it. Good morning, it is 7.15 a.m. I am drinking my coffee, getting ready for work. And uh, today we're gonna be testing out the brand new Bite Beauty Supercharged, no, Change Maker, Change Maker Micellar Foundation. Oh no, I wasn't wrong. It's Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. So my, I wasn't totally crazy in thinking that. Anyway, so I went to Sephora over the weekend and had them make me a sample of this new foundation. Y'all know I am a big proponent of getting a sample before you go in and purchase a foundation to see if you like it so you don't create waste if it ends up not working out for you. So I picked up the shade L40, which is described as being light with a neutral undertone. I did swatch a few in the store and that one seemed to match me the best, which is also good to know because a lot of times I end up going for a light medium or even a medium shade and those looked way too dark for me. So just be mindful if you are gonna order this foundation online and you haven't gone to swatch it in the store I think the shades run darker than you would think if you do have the opportunity to go and test it out I would highly recommend doing so so you don't end up getting the wrong shade and to that point there are 32 shades to choose from and it does look like there is a nice spectrum from light to deep with many different undertones along the way so there should theoretically be something for everybody now as far as the details and the product itself this retails for $39.50 you get one fluid ounce of product which is the standard so according to bite this is a clean long-wearing foundation with gentle micellar technology that mimics skin's texture for a natural flawless finish it has medium coverage it has a natural finish and it's supposed to be for all skin types this product is also vegan cruelty-free and gluten-free, if any of those things are of concern to you. And the highlighted ingredients, according to Sephora, are Mackey Berry, which is an antioxidant-rich ingredient that helps to nurture your complexion, and Micellar Technology, which is supposed to help to mimic the skin's texture for a smooth, non-cakey look. Now, I already uh, looked at the ingredients of this foundation and talked about it in my New and Beauty video. It does concern me that this product has fragrance. It has both fragrance slash perfume listed kind of like halfway, maybe two thirds of the way down the ingredients list, which I really don't like to see. And then it also has hexyl cinnamol, linalool, and limoline. It also should be noted that the fruit extract they're talking about is at the very bottom of this list, along with the agave extract that they are known for putting in their products. So this is one of those situations where I feel a little dubious like when a brand is making a claim that they're using some kind of really cool unique ingredient and then it's like less than 1% of the entire formula I do have to wonder how much it's actually doing yes it's true that some things are very potent like if you're going to use essential oils which are not great for your skin anyway you definitely want to use them at a lower than 1% concentration I think the safe concentration is less than point one percent if i'm remembering correctly so those are just some things to keep in mind if you are thinking about picking this foundation up it probably shouldn't be for the skincare benefits it should be because you like the way it looks on the skin and the way that it finishes because i don't think it's going to do very much as far as you know improving your skin so as far as how it is recommended that we apply this foundation it says dot it onto your cheeks forehead and nose for best results use your fingers or a brush Start from the center of your face and blend outwards and then build up coverage. So it does not suggest that we apply this with a sponge, which unfortunately is what I have in front of me, but maybe we'll kind of do like a sponge brush hybrid application. We'll see how it goes. So first things first, let's give it a smell test because we know there's fragrance in here. 
It does have a slight scent that I can detect, but it's not like in your face. You kind of really have to stick your nose in it, but we'll see if it's worse once I actually apply it. So I'm gonna go in with this little flat foundation brush just to get it onto my face. These are really handy when you're working from these tiny little jars because the big, um, you know, round or domed foundation brushes can't really get in there. I know a lot of people don't like having these kinds of brushes in their collection. If you're ever doing makeup on another person, they are so handy. I always use them to apply primer and foundation to other people just because it's, I don't know, easier I feel like than using your fingers. So texture wise, this is a thick foundation. It does kind of remind me of the texture of the It Cosmetics CC cream. It's not super liquidy. It does seem to be spreading out nicely onto the skin. And I definitely do see that sort of glowy finish that they're talking about. We're not gonna just apply with this brush either, mind you. I'm just using this to kind of get the base of my coverage down. And for ha -has, I am gonna use my sponge because it's what I have in front of me. And I don't think it'll shear it out too much because this already has blended itself, it seems like, pretty well. You guys, you know what I just realized? I totally forgot to put my primer on. OMG, that means I'm not wearing sunscreen, which is awful. Ah, I'll have to like put something on top of this to like SPF protect my face a little bit. But dang it, too distracted by filming. Fortunately, I was already planning on doing a multiple day wear test of this product. So I'm gonna test it out today and then I'm also gonna test it out tomorrow. So this will be our primerless test. I'm just wearing my moisturizer and serum and nothing else. Tomorrow we'll try it on top of my coat's primer and see if we notice any difference in the way that it wears. All right, so this is what one layer of the foundation is looking like on my skin at the moment. Let me turn my light down just a little bit because I feel like it's a little bright. It's kind of making me look extra shiny. So I feel like the coverage is really, really nice. It's very natural looking. It's not full, full coverage, but it definitely evened my skin tone out. It definitely toned down the look of imperfections and it does definitely have a satin finish. It's not like insanely glowy, but it's definitely not matte. I feel like the way this looks is very, very similar to the Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation, which I've been wearing a lot lately. Like if I put this on and didn't know what it was, this is probably what I would guess just based on the way that it looks. So if, if this bite one didn't have fragrance, that would be so amazing because the Too Faced one does. And so this would be a nice alternative to that if that was the case, but alas, they both have fragrance. So we're kind of SOL in that respect. I was considering layering more of this up, but honestly, I don't even think I need to. I feel like this looks really nice all in its own. So I'm just gonna go in with my NARS concealer quick to um, cover up my under eyes, debating whether I wanna set it with powder or not set it today. Maybe I need to do a three day wear test. Maybe I need to do it without powder and with powder. Oh my goodness, I do have the power. We'll see. All right, so maybe today, because I didn't use any primer, maybe we won't set it. We'll use some cream products on the face today, just kind of do a quick, nice, natural look, and we'll see how that wears. As you guys know, I do have oily skin. However, this winter, my skin has been a lot less oily because it's so dry. This happens every year, but this year in particular, I feel like my skin has been a lot more balanced than it usually is, so, I'm not overly concerned with not setting it. I think I can get away with it. I've done that uh, recently wearing other foundations. So I'm just kind of curious to see like how bad it actually gets. For my eyes, I'm gonna use the ColourPop It's My Pleasure palette today. I'm feeling a little bit purple. It's a purple mood. So we're just gonna throw a little bit of that on the eyes real quick. So while I am just quickly blending this on, I want to say I don't love the way my face is feeling right now. I feel like this foundation is very heavy feeling. Like I can feel the fact that it is hydrating and that it is thick and that my face has not been set. Like it's ever so slightly uncomfortable. And if it's already feeling like that, I feel like after a few hours, this is gonna be driving me absolutely insane. Like if you also have oily skin, do you know that feeling when you like, you know you need to blot? Like you can just tell because your skin, you can just like feel the oil sitting on it. 
that's how I'm feeling right now. So I don't know that I will be able to make it that far. I may need to do a little something just to like bring the shine down a tiny bit so that way I don't go absolutely insane today. All right, so here is where we're at with my completed face. Like I said, especially in my T-zone right now, I am going actually insane. So I think I'm gonna need to powder because it is driving me crazy. Like it just feels itchy and it feels really oily and I just, I can't. So I'm gonna take a little of this Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh powder and I'm just going to set around my nose, like the areas where I have the largest pores and I get the most shiny because I think if I don't, I will lose my dang mind. But already, I just feel like, I don't know. I don't know, guys, how I feel about this. It might be just a little bit too much for my skin. We'll leave the cheeks, though. I'm not going to set this area. I don't usually get extra shiny there, so we'll leave the juicy goodness the way that it is. All right, so I need to leave for work. We've got uh, a good solid, I don't know, what, nine hours plus ahead? I usually get home around 6 p.m. Maybe I'll try to bring my camera with me and do a check-in on my lunch break, which is around noon time so we can see after like five hours or so how this is looking but yeah i'll check in with you guys in a little bit hey guys so i just walked in the door just got home from work it's about six o'clock at night so i wanted to uh let you guys see how this foundation is looking right now just uh look, looking at my little viewfinder here I'm, I'm feeling pretty shiny which is unsurprising let me take my glasses off so that way you guys can see a little better oh my goodness i look i look a mess right now all right so we'll get like real up close and personal i'll like zoom you guys in a little bit so we can take a look at uh, this situation obviously got some serious glasses marks here and uh, the foundation is super super oily and like rubbing off on my nose which happens especially whenever I'm wearing glasses uh, I did not blot at all today so I am crazy shiny I also feel like my blush and bronzer and everything is pretty much gone right now also I feel like right around here I'm looking pretty cakey. It's not looking the best. My brows, though. Brow game is strong. Gotta love that Folklore brow pencil. That did not go anywhere. And my eyeshadow, wearing that ColourPop palette, that still looks pretty good. So yeah, for a day one wear test on my oily skin, I'm not, uh, like, super impressed. Like, I really feel like I need to blot seriously bad right now. Just gonna just gonna quickly go ahead and take take care of some of this situation. Oh my god, this is this is bad. I'm sorry. This is probably gross. Okay, so I blotted away some of the excess oil that was on my face and now I just feel like the coverage, especially around the center of my face, isn't really there anymore. So I feel like this didn't wear super well on me which I kind of expected given how dewy it was. But we'll see how it goes tomorrow. As for right now, I'm about to go get uh, Mexican food and drink a margarita with my husband and my mother-in-law, which I'm super excited about. So gonna go do that. Probably just going to wash my face off when we get home from dinner. And then I will see you guys tomorrow for round two. So it's time for round two of the Changemaker Supercharged Micellar Foundation from Bite Beauty, say that five times fast. This time I am not going to forget to prime my skin with my Coats SPF 40 face primer. And we'll see if things go any better today. Yesterday, uh, obviously I got very shiny after about nine hours of wear. And obviously I was able to blot all of that off, but I feel like because this is a lighter coverage product to begin with like it just broke down on my skin and after I blotted it really looked like most of it had worn off I also was wearing cream products which typically aren't long wearing on me anyway so today we'll try out some powder bronzer blush highlight and see if that wears any better especially along with this primer so we're going to apply this basically the same way I applied it yesterday we'll apply with a brush to start and then blend everything in with a sponge. Also, as for the feeling of like my skin suffocating yesterday that was driving me nuts, it did get a little bit better um, after I set it for sure. But I feel like by the time I got home and before I blotted, I could just feel how much oil was on my skin and I hate that feeling. It's just really like 
grimy and gross. I'm not a fan. So that is annoying. So we'll see if we get the same kind of deal today. Another thing I'm noticing right now, I definitely can smell the fragrance in this foundation. It doesn't smell bad or perfumey. It kind of smells... Ah, I want to say it smells organic. That sounds really dumb. But you know how products that are a little more green and clean have an almost plant-like scent to them? This one kind of smells like that, like slightly fruity, slightly plant-esque, which maybe is like the whole psychology of this product. Like, you know it's supposed to be clean, so they make it smell like it's made from plants or something like that. But actually, it's all just smoke and mirrors. So just, just be mindful of that. I'm gonna try building up just a little more coverage around my nose, because that's where I typically get the most discoloration or redness. And this is the thing, on first application, this does look really nice. Like the coverage level is definitely, like I said yesterday, it's not full, but it does even everything out. It does make your skin look more perfected without making it look perfect to the point of looking like a mask. And then for concealer, we'll do shape tape today. We'll just put a little bit of this on because I know I used the NARS one yesterday. All right, so I'm gonna set down my face, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup, and then we'll chat about how things are looking. All right, so I've got the rest of my makeup done now. I definitely felt like I encountered no issues applying my blush, bronzer, and highlight over this foundation once I set it. I used the Becca Hydra Mist again today just for consistency's sake. So yeah, right now my skin looks beautiful. I feel like my pores look very airbrushed over. Everything looks very smooth. The coverage looks nice, which yesterday I feel like my face also looked nice right after I finished doing my makeup. It was just a few hours later once my natural oil started to kick in that things got a little crazy. So today I'm just really curious to see if we can make this foundation work for me or at least make it work better than yesterday. So obviously we added on the primer, which I needed anyway, because sunscreen. But I think I'm also going to set my face today with this Cover FX mattifying setting spray that I've been testing out. I do really like it and I think that it works decently well. So we'll see maybe by using this setting with powder and using a primer if I end up less oily by the end of the day. All right, so it's time for me to run. I've got to go to work, but I will check in with you guys later and we'll see how this is holding up. Hello, so I just got to work. It's about 8.30 in the morning, so I just wanted to quickly pop on here so you could see what this looks like in natural light. I feel like the color match for me on this, I don't know if I talked about this before, I think it's pretty good. It does look like it's oxidized just a little bit, like you can see a slight difference between my face and my neck, but it's not like the worst offender ever. Let's zoom in a little bit so you guys can also see it up close what it's looking like so i feel like on first application like it definitely looks pretty good on the skin we obviously aren't getting shiny yet which i would hope not because it's only been like an hour but yeah so maybe i will try to check in around lunch if not definitely when i get home later hey guys so it is uh 9 30 at night i meant to check in when i got home from work but i had to eat really fast and then go to a board meeting at the theater. I think Ryan may have the flu, which is also not great, because then I might get the flu. And I also don't like seeing him feel like crappy, so it's it's been a night so far. But before I take this face of makeup off, uh, we need to do a final check-in. So let me take off my glasses here so we can take a good look at the situation at hand. I feel like I'm a little bright. Let me see if I can turn down this exposure. Okay, so hopefully that's a little bit better. So here is what we're looking at after what, like 14? 14 hours of wear? I've had this makeup on for a long time. I definitely am looking super shiny right now, especially in the T-zone area. However, it really didn't look that shiny maybe like four hours ago or so. I feel like the primer and the setting spray definitely 
made a difference for me. Also, I feel like my blush, bronzer, and highlight game definitely is stronger today than it was yesterday. Things have stuck around a little bit better, which is usually the case with a powder versus a cream. All right, so here's a nice close look at everything. Super, super shiny, but relatively even. I don't think this is like the worst foundation ever, but it's not my like absolute favorite either. I definitely feel like the oiliness and like almost claustrophobic feeling that I had yesterday, it wasn't as bad like that today. I think because I used a primer and I used a setting spray, so that definitely helped it to feel less heavy and oily on my skin. Yesterday it was just like too dewy, but I do feel like the shine factor definitely is like worse with this than some other foundations that I really like that are just a little bit more on the matte side. So I think if you are super oily, this is something you're gonna have to touch up and you're gonna have to blot because it definitely will get shiny throughout the day. Even though they say this is for all skin types, I don't think it's gonna be like ideal for super oily individuals, especially if you're wearing it for more than like four to six hours, which honestly, I think for the average working person, like most people wear their makeup for at least a solid eight hour work day. So I know for me personally, I was definitely starting to look shiny after about six to eight hours or so, but it honestly looked pretty good for most of the morning. I think especially with the setting spray and the primer, it really helped to kind of like lock things in and keep it looking nice. I think the coverage on this product is generally nice. I like that it's not too, too heavy and that it's very natural looking. I think if you had normal skin, this would probably be really, really beautiful on you. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be running out and buying this in the full size. I didn't like it that much. I definitely am going to use my little sample again until I run out just to like really make sure I don't change my mind. But based on this two day wear test, I feel like this is like, a three star for me. It's like, it's okay. If I had nothing else, I would definitely use this again. Like, it's not like I hate it, but I didn't really find myself falling in love with it either. So yeah, on that note, I'm gonna go wash my face and go get ready for bed. Well, actually, I'm gonna go give my husband my ibuprofen and then I'm gonna go wash my face and then I'm gonna go to bed. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I hope you will consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you will consider subscribing, coming back and hanging out with me again in the future. If you end up trying out this foundation, definitely leave a comment and let me know what you think of it. Did you love it? Did you not love it? What's your skin type? Did it work for you? If you're dry or normal, especially, I would love to know if you had a different experience. If you're oily like me, did you also end up being a giant grease ball? Like, g give me all the details. And yeah, on that note, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.